guys and welcome back to SGM. Well, today I have a few announcements. Um, first of all, let's change the FOV to 75. There we go. Um, yeah. What was I saying? Yeah, I have a few announcements. Unfortunately, I have to cancel the RMA Atom Edition series. Um, I continue to have crashing problems. Um, I tried to play my original save game files and they're corrupt, as you can expect. Uh, I tried to start from the beginning and I was, you know, did a, a clean install, deleted everything, literally. And started from the beginning but the crashes simply don't go away uh, I've tried a, a few other mods for Sh Stalker of Sh Shadow of Chernobyl uh, tried the Autumn Aurora edition and yeah, basically there's the same crash although I tried RMA without the Autumn Aurora and on and works fine don't know why, to be honest, don't know why. So right now I'm like scouting for probably probable next mod for Stalker of Chernobyl. Unfortunately, our mate has to be cancelled. Uh, yeah. So let's continue, shall we? So we are going to do. Let's see. this mission first. We'll tell about Kowalski. We'll talk about Sunilla. We'll tell Kowalski about the weapon later. Now, there's a secret mission. I think it's on this building. I don't know if you've noticed the bloodsucker over there. It's very friendly towards us. God knows why. So, I'm going to show you. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm just going to show you. Or not. But it's one of those things that you need to, you know, explore basically as GM to find a lot of interesting stuff. Well, <laughs> as you can see, there's a bloodsucker there. I don't know if I should shoot him or not. Oh well. You friendly? Yes. Thank you. Friendly bloodsucker. Probably it's not that one. Maybe it's that one. Or maybe there's two of them. Um, oh boy. Oh Jesus. This thing gets me every single time. I was a Expecting it, expecting it more of a less. To be honest, I didn't remember how it was anymore, but uh, yeah. Now, there's some paperwork that our friendly bloodsucker left us. He knocked us out, basically. So right now, with 648, let's see what he left us. Nope. There we go. This letter contains the following. You're the first ones to see me. I saved your life in exchange for your silence. And help, help me. I cannot appear among the people as I would be shot on sight. They fear me, but I know that I must be, must get to the scientists to probably have access to help me. I need the drug NG7. Bring me this medific medication. It will help me and I will thank you. The load instead it should be used. Okay, there we go. And right now we have a vaccine for a bloodsucker. <laughs> Basically, we're going to get some help for that poor bloodsucker. I think he was not a bloodsucker. I think he was originally uh, a human. Yeah. It's one of those funny things in the zone. Uh, continuing. Not going back. 
Oh, maybe I'll go back later, but not now. Right now, let's do the mission of the dead people. Recon unit. Hopefully, it will open the access for the monolith missions. So we can start doing the monolith missions. Jesus. Yeah, that one's not friendly at all. Nope. FOB 75 is the arms kind of look weird, if you know what I mean. They should be around there somewhere. Well, maybe the person that coded these weapons didn't take in consideration of that FOB, I would say. Here we go, gets you. I found the unit. They're all dead. Looks like they were shot, but there's no trace of the enemy. It's those damn fanatics. They don't let up. We're also missing a sentry. He's not answering, and there's not a trace of him either. We've got to take care of those bastards once and for all. Yes, sure. The recon unit had information about the location of monolith forces. The notes indicate the bookstore. Very well. I'll be sending two boys your way. They'll meet you near the target. Over and out. Let's meet with the reinforcements, I guess. With the other guy. By the way, I don't see anyone. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's go over there. Uh, I see the other guy running on that direction. I signed up as soon as I found out you need help. I'll follow you to the bitter end, man. Wow. You Thanks. know, I thought I'd be safer with you. <laughs> no, you're not safer with me, but thanks anyway. Thanks for the support, guys. You two are best friends. No, Vano, what the hell are you doing? Skilled. Oh. oh brother, I didn't want it to do this, but here we go. Here we go. Oh. 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 Oh
not getting any of my friends, not today. Yeah, that one was sad actually. <laughs> Saw me picking, but I don't think they knew what they should do. Stay there, okay? No, Vano. No. Stay. Jesus. Why have you left us? Oh Why have you left us? <laughs> we await your order, O oh Monolith. Check. That's actually interesting. O oh Monolith, we do not hear you. Hmm. I wonder who could be controlling them. Why have you left us, O oh Monolith? Do you feel remember on oh. Shut up, Chernobyl. The brain scorcher was deactivated. But supposedly, they should have been maybe returning to normal, and actually haven't. Which it would suggest maybe that someone else is controlling them. I don't think anyone has ever further, you know, that theory. Because as you know, Stalker 2 was cancelled and we we'll never know. Oh well, maybe someday, maybe someday, someone will pick it up. We await your maybe order, the new oh my god, Prince of Lord. Investigate that, why? And I'm not worried about the exit by the way. Kowalski! Something strange is going on here. There were loads of monolith fighters inside the building. They were all in a trance and talking to a pile of trash. I examined this pile, and if you cut through the crap, it resembles a primitive antenna. It seems that someone talks to them through this antenna, and they believe it to be divine intervention. This is all very strange. Someone's controlling these fanatics. Hmm. We'll get back to this later. Our sentry hasn't showed up yet, so let me know if you find him. Over and out. Yeah. Dammit. Cutscenes. To loot all these people, I need to give stuff to that guy so I can be like the mechanic's best friend. Oh, yeah, that's a nice artifact, by the way. Pretty reasonable. Now, should we talk to these fellows? We'll take us back to base or okay. okay. Already dead. Okay. Howdy. Follow me, boys. So we can all go back. We'll join. Well, let's do that, shall we? Oh, never mind, they're pulling me. Okay, boys, let's get the hell out of here. Can 
light is coming and spooky things are coming too. See if there's any yarn effects in there. I decided to take like the, the wrong turn now with Kirky. No, I do mind, and I'm outside too, so it's dangerous. There's also a, a mutant up here. Absolute nature and the atmosphere makes this game amazing. But by the way, I think they're developing absolute nature 4.0. I don't know if I have Oh no. <laughs> no, thank you. I'll just quick load because I don't feel like going back all the way. Sorry about that, guys. But it is what it is. Yeah, I was saying, um, as you don't know, probably already heard about it, 
Absolute Labor Nature 4 has been released. And for what it seems, it's really amazing. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if it has been released, to be honest. I don't know what I'm saying sometimes. I know that's in development. It's been currently in development. I think there's a mod that's going on to feature it on there. Let's create another mod. Base, the sentry is dead. He was acting strange and attacked me. I also identified and eliminated a controller in that area. Copy that, Major. The controller must have taken over the sentry. Uh, he was a good guy. Hmm, that must have sure been was. what happened to the recon unit. The controller forced them to attack each other. Anyway, over and out. Well guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye!